What is up guys, welcome back to the video. Now today we're going to be doing some hacker versus hacker and for once we're not using the card hack, we are in fact using hypersonic towers. So all of the towers I have, apart from my fourth tower, which is the ace, are all super duper hypersonic and you'll see what I mean uh, in a minute. Oh my God, are you kidding me? I did not even know that was a thing. Okay, so I set literally, uh, the whole morning this morning, like I was setting this up and I had no idea that would happen. What what just happened, dude? Did you just see? The temple was like, oh my God, I have no idea what's happening. But anyway, this guy that we're playing is a, uh, he's a, he's a infinite money hacker and we're using hypersonic towers. I think it's going to be really interesting. I have no idea what that tower was. I like <laughs> literally, I have no idea. But yeah, I think this is going to be really, really cool. If you enjoy it, make sure to drop a like. Let's try and hit 5,000 likes on this video. And also if you're new, subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Road to 200,000 subscribers. But yeah. This guy is a uh, infinite money hacker. We're gonna be using hypersonic towers. As you can see, my farms produce money very, very quickly. Unfortunately, it does not work, however, for the factory. So we can't make an absolute ton, but I mean, I mean, we're already making like an absolute ton of money. Just look at the money we already have. And if we upgrade it to like the Banana Republic and then get valuable bananas as well. This is just gonna make us so much money per round. It's actually ridiculous. I think I set it up. So uh, it, the farms can make uh, at least like a hundred bananas per round, which is why they're so fast. On the longer rounds, when it gets uh, like later into the game, it, they produce a bit less because of course there's the limit of a hundred and if the round's slower, then they're produced slower. But yeah, it's still, it's, it, it's an absolute ton of money. I'm really looking forward to this one. It's gonna be really, really cool. And yes, also uh, with the Summon Phoenix ability, by the way, uh, we have like there's no cooldown on it We can just use this whenever we want to defend against stuff and I did make it speed so we'd get to the late game quicker uh, And then it's also play with fire just in case we want to rush him uh, To rush us too because if we send stuff to him It will send it right back to us so we can test our defense We can see how good our defense is and then if he if he rushes us then it's gonna send it to him as well. Now, it may look like some of his towers, uh, the same ones as mine, uh, might be hypersonic. They're not, I promise you. It's just because I set it up so my side uh, is hypersonic. and it, 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 Balloons is just weird and it does that. But yeah, I'm really, really excited for this. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna sell these farms right now because they, they probably are gonna produce an absolute ton of lag. I wanna show you guys the, the hypersonic Temple of the Monkey God. It looks really, really cool. And you can definitely see it's uh, it's firing faster than usual. And of course, like, yeah, you can see these, t uh, these giant blue plasma bolts, they're going insanely fast. I can't wait until I can send ZOMGs. So I want to show you guys how ridiculously fast they are. And uh, look, dude, look at that. What? I, I can't, I, what the hell is that? I had no idea that was happening. I swear. <laughs> I thought he was only using infinite money. And then suddenly he comes with this amazing temple. Like, I, does that do more damage? I'm so curious. And it seems like after a while, it goes away and then it reverts to the normal. Well, it's not really normal because it's blue, but it reverts back to the regular, at least like kind of regular blue uh, monkey temple. But I don't know. Wow, that, that looks really, really powerful. I don't know what he's doing on his side right now, though. He's literally, he's just got all of these super monkeys on his side. I'm going to send him a mob. I want to see what he does. Is he actually going to get up any defense? Now, what happens, like, we, we demolished that pretty quickly. If we send a ceramic, by the way, just watch this, okay? Uh, our super monkey, normally it can't wait. Actually, no, that was kind of bad. Uh, I take it back. I made this hypersonic, but apparently it's not a very good hypersonic tower. But yeah, at least you can see on the wizard, like that's doing so much damage. In fact, I'm going to get rid of the super monkey for now. I know it's going to probably annoy you some, uh, some of you guys that I'm constantly selling towers. I just want to show everything off. Uh, but yeah, this this is a really, really powerful tower. When the wizard is hypersonic, because it doesn't ha just have one attack like uh, the super monkey, for example. It has so many different small attacks, but I buffed each of those attacks. So each one of those small attacks is like it has zero cooldown. So it's just insanely fast. And with the lightning as well, I think I made the lightning like I, I, I definitely made it faster, but I didn't make it very, very fast. But yeah, of course, look at the summon whirlwind. It's actually ridiculous. Now, if I send a mob, can we destroy the mob? with our wizard and in fact we can it didn't do like extremely fast damage but it was still pretty good and i feel like we could 
we could make a pretty damn good region farm with this uh, if it doesn't kill them quick enough. Because, like, look right here. It's just continuously blowing every single thing back. But, yeah. I have no idea what the deal was with uh, with those temples. Maybe it's an ability he somehow has on his side. L like, I literally have no idea what was happening there. I'm going to get a Sun God. I did buff the Sun God as well. It should be extra fast. I don't know why it isn't if it isn't. Uh, if we send a couple of mobs, let's see how good the Sun God is against these. It's definitely faster. I'll give it that. That's definitely faster than it would do, but it's still not as fast as I want it. I don't understand that. And yes, the, I, I think the temple wasn't that good because I didn't give it any sacrifices. So if I get sacrifices on this temple, it's going to be absurdly powerful because it has zero cooldown. Now, and the, like the, the regular temple, it doesn't have that much of a cooldown at all, but it still has a cooldown. And I just got rid of every, like all of that cooldown. So it should be very, very fast. So I'm just going to get a bunch of sacrifices. I don't need all of these sacrifices. Oh my God, he's getting a lot of temples on his side right here. This is definitely going to go pretty damn late game, guys. I'm really looking for... We just ran out of money. I just realized we just ran out of money. Um, That's actually not good. Um, <laughs> Let's get some farms. I... I guess I was selling stuff, I was buying stuff so much that I, I didn't even realize, dude. I ran out of money. I didn't even think that would be possible, but apparently we managed the impossible and we ran out of money when we literally have the easiest time making money in the world. Like, it's abs it's like absurd. But yeah, I want to see, I want to see that temple again. I want to see it again. That looks so nice. I have to ask him after this match. How the hell he got that temple? Because that looks so nice. So if I send a bunch of BFBs against my side, how quickly can I defend against this? <clears throat> I, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to... Yeah, it, our, our defense absolutely demolishes everything. I can't wait to get this temple up. It's going to be really, really good. Uh, let's go for Banana Republic on all of these. And yes, I'm not getting the, uh, the uh, factory, the Banana Research Facility, because it's not hypersonic, unfortunately. I couldn't figure out how to do that, but I did it for... Tower Blindness! Um, that's not good. Oh god. I dude, I am I am having so many surprises right now. My banana farmers aren't working. That is the worst thing ever. Dude, literally none of my towers are attacking. What what just happened? What what just happened, guys? I have no idea how he managed that, but if I only have a temple on my side, does that mean that my temple will stop attacking and I die? He's saying sorry, dude. I am so scared right now. I'm so scared after that. He absolutely, he could have just demolished me right there. I mean, he technically did. If he sent a ZMG right then and there, he probably could have beaten me because like I didn't have enough towers attacking. That's not good at all. Anyway, we're going to go for this temple. This is going to be absurdly powerful, guys. Let me just get my farmers right here. And yeah, this is going to be so cool. I'm going to send one ZMG against both of us and see who defends it faster. Now, his was, okay. Oh god, oh god, this is not good. My my temple's not even attacking that fast. I swear to god, I made the temple hypersonic, but apparently it's not making my oh god, that is a lot of lag. That is a lot of lag. I have no idea why it's lagging so much. Um, maybe it was a mistake <laughs> getting that tempest tornado or something. Oh my god. My connection has been lost. Okay, I will see you guys when my connection comes back. Okay, guys, so as you can see, we are on round 32 again. I apologize about the disconnect. It was probably because my Wi-Fi couldn't handle, for some reason, the ridiculously fast Tempest Tornado, which kind of sucks. Oh god, I just thought it lagged again, but it was just, there were no balloons on the screen. But yeah, I've kind of found a problem, and that is because if I have too many of these really, really fast producing banana farms, it just lags out my side completely, and which is really, really bad, because that means I can't actually make that much money. So what I've, uh, what, what I've opted to do is just go for a bunch of these BIAs and just like pray that they fill up with enough money, because this guy, he has infinite money. Like, look at his defense right now. It is absolutely ridiculous. He just has so many temples on the screen. He has so much money to get all of these snipers. <clears throat> now, whilst my temples are hypersonic, the problem is the cooldown for the temple is already ridiculously low. So I just lowered it down to zero. But like it's, I, I load it down to zero from like 0 0.01. So it doesn't make that much of a difference, which is kind of bad for us when our whole defense relies on our, like our towers being really, really fast. And yes, it is hypersonic, but it's still, I, I'm really worried, guys. I am really worried, especially because he has that weird evil temple thing. And like, I, I think I, I spoke to him because we disconnected. And apparently that's like an ability he can use. Like if he's in trouble, he can just use that ability. He can get out of the trouble 
And yeah, I, I'm just really worried because in literally in every single hacker versus hacker video I've done, I've, I've like in most of them, I've won them because my hypersonic towers were very, very good. Nothing could beat them late game. But this could legitimately be an exception. We are destroying things faster than if they were just usual temples. But it's, oh my God. Look at his side right now. That is the best thing I have ever seen in this game, like ever. Oh my God, that looks so nice. I can't believe that. That's just amazing. Oh my God, I need that. Dude, I need to use this hack in the next video. If you if you want to see that, comment down below. That is crazy. I had no idea that existed. It's so cool. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly get up another temple. Hopefully, well, it's not really max temple, but it's got like a lot of upgrades on it. So hopefully this does well. As you can see, we're kind of struggling against all of this stuff, which is really not good because the ZOMG is coming soon and I don't want to struggle against the ZOMG. So I'm going to get a bunch of, well, I'm going to get one wizard up here because then we can spam all of the summon phoenixes and that can do a lot of money. We do have a decent amount of money from these. I'll just sell these two so we have space to get a couple of hypersonic tech terrors. They could like even do more damage than the temples at this rate because they really, they don't do that much work. It's kind of shocking. <laughs> like a hundred percent, they are changed. They're meant to be hypersonic. They are hypersonic, but apparently it doesn't make that much difference. But yeah, you can see it like it works. Like these phoenixes, for example, they are super duper fast. These are definitely going to do a lot of damage. I, I, I'm, I'm just kind of scared. Honestly, I've never lost one of the... Well, I think I have lost a couple, but not really badly. And I feel like I'm going to lose this one really, really badly. So I'm just going to keep on spamming these phoenixes. Hopefully, we can defend against the next round. I'm, I'm really hoping we can. Dude, I'm literally... I'm just spamming so many phoenixes right now because I know they're eventually going to run out. I'm checking to see if there's any lag. There, luckily, there isn't any lag. Oh my god, look at that, look at that, look how fast it is. Dude, and this is with so many phoenixes on the screen. Oh my god, I'm literally gonna just have to press down the phoenixes non-stop for this entire game now. That's th that's what this has come down to, L literally. That's what I have to do now. I just have to spam these phoenixes as quick as I possibly can. Oh no, this is gonna be ridiculous. I'm sorry if you can hear my mouse clicking a lot, because there's literally, at this point, there is nothing else I can do. This is crazy. I just have to keep getting these phoenixes up. Oh my god. And then, uh, like, uh, I have to get these tech terrors too. Oh my god, I am so scared right now. <laughs> I am so scared. Okay, let's keep on getting these phoenixes up. We can't slack on the phoenixes. We cannot slack. We do have one boost if we do really need to use it. But like, my, oh my god, my fingers are going to die. My fingers are literally going to die now. I can't believe we're going to lose to this hacker because our hypersonic hacks were not good enough to beat him. That is ridiculous. I, I, I can't believe this. I mean, I did make it speed. That's kind of my fault. I'm just spamming these as much as we can. Dude, we need, we needed something like Ninja to slow everything down. Or like Ice, because he has Ice and he has Sniper. That, that's so good for him. He has so much popping power on his side. I'm just continuously spamming these Snipers. My finger hurts so much. You have no idea. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going to take a break. And I, oh God, no, I can't take a break. I have to boost. I have to boost. I have to get all of these. Oh my God. I'm going to have to use every single one of these. Oh my God. I'm so scared, guys. Let's get all of these Phoenixes up again. We do have our boost up and running. It is actually lagging. Imagine if we lagged him out. We could actually, wait, we could lag him out with these Phoenixes. That's how we could win. We could like, no, he's using the Tower Blindness. There is no way I'm defending now. I'm going to go down. I actually lost with Hypersonic Towers. I can't believe that. Like, literally, I lost with Hypersonic Towers. So, apparently, the hack he was using is much better late game. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to subscribe and like the video. And also, watch another one. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And see you in the next one. And let's see what we get from the spinner. If it's going to be a Robo Farmer, everything's okay. Perfect end to this video. Thank you guys so much for all of the support.